Hi guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a bathing suit haul. I can't tell you how long I've wanted to do this for. Like I think since I went to Tulum in February, I bought some new bathing suits and from a couple different places. Mainly we're gonna be looking at Zaffle, Gymshark, and then there's another brand that, uh, let me see. This one still has its tag on it. I actually haven't worn this one, but we'll get to that. This company though, it's called Bound, Bond Eye Australia. So we're gonna be going over those three brands. Um, I'm gonna show you what I bought and where I got them and how they fit, fit a petite frame. Honestly, Tulum was so fun and like if you guys want a different video on Tulum, I could make one, just recommendations and stuff. But Tulum, Mexico, um, it's kind of like a trendy place to go right now. When I was down there, I pretty much only met people from LA or from New York and they were all like content creators um, or photographers or real estate investors, um, but most of them were content creators, which was fun because um, there's this really famous gym in Tulum called the Jungle Gym and it's a beach gym and I actually met someone there. Um, we helped each other create content, so that's always fun. Someone who just like gets you, you know? This trip was special to me because it was a girl's trip and it was the first time in recent years that I remember feeling totally free and confident and sexy and just amazing in my body wearing a two-piece. I cannot remember the last time I really felt that way and I live in New York so I don't wear a bathing suit often so it was probably like a few years ago that I last put on a bathing suit and this was just such a great trip because I loved all the bathing suits I brought. It was so fun to wear them and I took a lot of pictures and you guys, I'm still posting them on my Instagram, but you'll see a lot of those bathing suits from my Instagram in today's haul. Definitely there were some bathing suits that came out as like a top fave and some that were like not good for sports or working out or anything. And I actually even worked out in one of the bathing suits at the Jungle Gym, which was awesome. So I'm gonna run through how they fit, what I think of them. Zaffle is kind of a contentious company, just kind of like a fast fashion. I don't really wanna support them and this isn't sponsored or anything like that. I almost just said spawn. Uh, but I do want to just show you guys what I got and do a little review. So let's get into it. All right, we're gonna go through all of the Zaffle ones first. And guys, I apologize, my sweatshirt is so wrinkled. I just realized I looked like a total scrub. <laughs> it's so wrinkled. I can't really be bothered to iron it right now and we're friends, so you guys will accept me as I am. Hopefully. Um, so let's start with this one. This bathing suit, and I'll put the links if I can find them in the comment below in the caption. It's a little wrinkled right now because it's been sitting in a drawer, but this one was probably my favorite bikini I ordered from Zaffle. It has an underwire. It's kind of that style that I've seen on a lot of women um, in the last maybe year or so. It's kind of become trendy. Um, where it has like a, an underwire and then this thing in the middle, which I thought would look weird, but actually because I'm so small chested, I liked the way it kind of like scooped my boob and just like the way it sat on me. I thought it looked really kind of just elegant and fit and contoured like my small breasts in a way that I, I thought it was nice. I thought it was cute. Um, and the bottom, so a note about Zaffle, from what I could tell when I looked online, and I'm gonna tell you guys like all of the things you need to know about Zaffle because there's quite a few things you should know before you shop there. They don't have a lot of non-cheeky options. I was looking for something cheeky, so that's good in my case, but if you're looking for more coverage, you're gonna probably have to scrub the site. I know they have some non-cheeky, but like a lot of their bathing suits, like look at this. This, the back, the butt, is almost the same cut size as the crotch. Like, when I first took this out of the package, I was like, yeah, this is gonna be an issue. Ended up not being an issue, because I like it cheeky. There's, see, there's like probably only a half an inch on each side, extra fabric. Um, and high-waisted, I was also, I love high-waisted. I think it looks amazing on petite women. Just gives you that like high leg look. Um, like nice curvaceous, like slim thick look, which I really like. And yeah, so the fabric, just like a note, the fabrics, um, if you're getting the cheeky kind of cut on Zaffle, they're gonna be cheeky. So just get ready for that. And also some general things about Zaffle since we're talking about this now, their sizing, I guess can be a little weird. I guess you can't really order different sizes for tops and bottoms. You just have to say like, I'm a small and they send you a small on the top and the bottom. I thought that this was gonna be a huge issue. I ordered a bunch of different Zaffle bathing suits. I didn't think I would actually, any of them would fit me, to be honest. And then they all ended up fitting me except for one, and I'll show you guys that one. So basically, this one fit really well, but it's a small on the top. Oh, I just dropped this. 
and a small on the bottom. And I'm typically an extra small on the top and then a small on the bottom because I have a big butt, but my, my boobs are small. But I was surprised it actually fit me. And that's across the board for the other bathing suits too. So this one is cute. Also love the color. Looks really good on like a freshly spray tan body, if I do say so myself. Okay, next up, this velvet um, kind of like tank bikini I got from Zaffel. Um, I also love this one. I like the velvet trend. I know it's kind of like an older trend now. I mean, I bought this a few months ago, but I really like that shiny look. The only thing is that these, this top is tiny. Like, ugh, it's like really small. If I had even slightly bigger boobs, it would have been popping out like bottom and top and side and everywhere. So it's a little um, small, but if you're on the smaller side, then it's pretty fine. And then the same thing goes for this bottom. This has the, I couldn't even tell which was the front crotch and which was the booty because it's so, it's the same on each side. Like crotch, butt, same cut. <laughs> I just made a song. So basically you could wear it either way. It's like a reversible crotch butt situation. Honestly, oddly enough, I was fine with it. So I'm not even complaining here. I actually kind of liked the way it ended up fitting me. I like the cheeky look, as I said, and I love this color. Love the velvet. Next up. Oh, and they're, they're pretty much all high-waisted. Yeah, they are. I generally don't like tank tops on me because my boobs are small, so it kind of falls off, but also my like whatever is here kind of just like sits on it. And I don't know, I've never really felt like this look is flattering on me. I changed my mind when I tried this on because it was just the right amount of padding, so this is padded, and I should mention all of the ones I bought are padded, which I, I personally like it because it just I feel like it helps with like contouring, and um, there are certain bikinis I would rather have no padding in, but I liked the support in this because these always fall off me. But yeah, this also has like a little wire on the side to help keep it up, which is what I needed for this to not fall down. And yeah, I thought it was super flattering and a nice color and just cute. It's a little big, but not big enough that I can't wear it. And the bottom is different than the other ones. This was, which size is this? This one's more coveragey, but still cheeky, if you know what I mean. And this one, finally, crotch is actually cut different than the back. So like you see a little bit more coverage. And I was very happy with how this turned out. I really liked the high-waisted look. It just was good for like the fourth day in Tulum after I'd had many, many a taco. And I just wanted to relax and not have to worry so much about like sucking it in or just feeling uncomfortable with like some bloat going on from changing like my hydration and my diet and everything which is inevitable if you're going on vacation you're going to have a diet change you're not going to stay as lean on like your first day as on your fifth day and that's also why if you're trying to get a certain pick like try to take them all the first day when you feel amazing and you're in your element and everything so yeah loved this one this was a good like third day fourth day bathing suit so this was the only one that um, didn't fit me and it's still, I still, I didn't return it because it was it's so cheap, it's Apple. I think they do offer returns. Um, I thought this looked so good online, but it's like for someone like with some big boobs. <laughs> some tickle bitties, you know what I'm saying? Like these were <laughs> not fitting my little coconuts. So um, unfortunately I couldn't wear it. But if any of you guys want it, maybe I could do a little giveaway. I mean, I'm sure you can just buy it yourself. It's not expensive. And then the, this was actually cute on too. Um, just the top was just obviously for someone with more of more bust size than me. Um, and this is the packaging it comes in. I don't appreciate that they use so much plastic. That's not my fave thing, but I guess they get their bathing suits from all over the internet. It's not just one company. I think they like, you order something and then they go and find it and send it to you. Um, and there's another thing I just want to caution you all and prepare y'all because if you're going on vacation and you're anything like me and you leave it to the last minute to get all your bathing suits, Zaffle is not going to be a good situation. They took 30 days to send my bathing suits and it says seven days on the website. I called their customer service, which they don't have by the way, they just have email customer service as far as I could tell. Many times I emailed them and I was like, what's going on? I'm not gonna have these in time. I only ordered these for Tulum and they kind of explained that it says seven to 10 days on their website, but then you have to leave an additional 10 days or two weeks for shipping or something. And so it ended up being full 30 days. I was so lucky. They showed up in my mail the night before I flew out. So I had them with me, but I was like sweating the whole time and I ran to a different store <laughs> to get some backups in case they didn't come, which is what I'm gonna show you next. 
So if you are going on vacation, just make sure you leave a good amount of padding to make sure your bathing suits come in the mail or else you'll like almost have nothing to wear, which is not good. Okay, next up, the Bounds, the Bonda Australia bathing suits. I got these at Paragon, which is a fitness store in Manhattan, uh, Paragon Sports, and Oh, I tried on every bathing suit in this store and didn't like any of them until I found this one and they have so many cute different variations and sizes um, I haven't seen their website, but I'm sure they have them all up on their website and they had like great mix and match every color you could imagine and it's made out of neoprene I believe so it's like surfer material quality really high quality by the way extremely expensive Like I couldn't believe I spent this much money on it This was $50 and this was like 50 bucks or maybe 75 75 It was expensive definitely out of my price range, but I was desperate so had to happen um, It's very very stretchy which is great because you can like turn it into you can I don't know It just fit me so well like molds your body and then I liked the top no padding just like a simple top um, this was great for like swimming and running around frolicking in Tulum and I loved it. And then I also bought a one kini, which I clearly didn't wear because I don't know, I just like to have the option of some additional coverage if I have a bloated night or something and I'm not feeling confident. I ended up not having one of those nights in Tulum. I just felt confident the whole time. Like even if I felt a little bloated, I still felt good in a two piece and I still felt great. And I was like, I want to show off my body and like, I just feel good, um, which was great. But I bought this as backup. It's very pretty. I really like it, it has an open back. And we'll see how much this one is because I haven't taken the tag off yet. $149. Like, not my proudest moment. Um, not how I normally spend my money, especially being a startup and a business owner. I don't have money like that. It's a good option. It's good to have a one piece in your life for reasons. Okay, saving the best for last because this is definitely the my most favorite bathing suit I've ever bought and I didn't expect it to be. It's the Gymshark one and they're not currently on their website but I bet you guys that they'll do a restock for the summer because it was a really popular item they had and they made multiple colors. I have no idea, I'm not Gymshark affiliated. Obviously, I wish, but yeah, they're they're probably gonna be back. And if they're not, whatever they release instead for the summer swim swim wear line will be fab as well because this quality, I am living for it. It was like, first of all, I love this top look because it's like a sports bra already. So it's just naturally like I feel confident in something that fits me like this. Like I feel secure. There's not like any like. I don't, you don't know, you know, like nothing clips in the back. Like with the Zaffle ones, they will not withstand an ocean swim. Let me put it that way. They're good for like a beach walk, a photo shoot, a casual tanning session. They are not good for running, hiking, swimming, anything that you're actually really supposed to do in a bathing suit. And that's because they, I'll just show you, they have so many attachments. Like this, whoop, just pops off. Even the back, like it's not gonna pop off just walking around, but I can guarantee you if I tried to swim in them, they would have come off, like in the ocean, maybe not a pool. What's great about these is you don't have to worry about anything coming off because it's just, you know, it's just like a sports bra. It's double lined and it has a really small pad in it, which I appreciate just for extra support because this was the one I wore at the jungle gym and I got so many compliments on it and I felt like I was, it was awesome, honestly. Like working out in your bathing suit on a beach under the sun, ugh. Like nothing better than that feeling. I never thought I would love it, but it was great. And the bottom was, I was worried because I saw a lot of the, the um, Gymshark affiliates. It looked like really tight in the waistband and then maybe not so flattering in the booty, but I actually thought it turned out really well. Like I really liked how it fit me. Um, I liked how tight the waistband was. It's not, I don't know. It's just, it's a tight band, um, but it's really stretchy. So it kind of fits, it can stretch um, and it's high waisted. So yeah, I guess I was just worried it would be like, cause like my like body to roll over it, but it didn't, it was fine. And the only thing was immediately when I bought it, this Gymshark label broke, which I was not happy about. So that's the only like cheap part of it. I should probably just cut this off. But yeah, um, I think that was a fluke because there's a piece on this one that's really secure. And this one you could easily do like sports in. I actually did it. I filmed a workout and then posted it on Instagram in this bathing suit and you guys loved it. Like everyone was like, where did you get that? So yeah, you guys, that concludes this bathing suit haul. It was really fun ordering these suits and trying them on and I want you guys to know that it does not matter. Like all that matters when you're wearing a bathing suit is that you feel good and confident and I find that shopping for bathing suits and like getting in the spirit of wearing them can improve that confidence level and just if you have stuff you're excited to wear, 
and, and feel good in your body, I think it helps. And not to be superficial or anything, I just, I had always not really looked forward to shopping for bathing suits. So this was kind of the first time in my life where I was like excited for it. And I think like just having an open up mindset when you're shopping and try a lot on and don't just get discouraged. And honestly, online shopping is a lot less stressful in my opinion because you're not like out of breath carrying a million things and going back and forth between the changing room. Just like order it, try it on, send it back. And no one has to know how like much of a hassle your day was or how many things didn't fit or you know what I mean? It's just like more about you trying them on in the comfort of your home. So yeah, I want you guys to feel good in your bathing suits. And remember, it's really just not about how you look, it's how you feel. I'm pretty sure like I looked great in my old bathing suits too. And it was just a matter of like how I was seeing myself and how secure I felt in the bathing suit and how like confident and yeah, just it's just like a mindset, right? It's not really about anything else. Um, so this was really, really fun to make. If you guys have any questions about anything, and again, actually I should tell you the sizes. I'm all over the place, you guys, oh my god. The Gymshark was an extra small on the top and an extra small on the bottom. The Bondi, Bondi, I'm just gonna call them Bondi now. No, it's not Bondi, it's Bound. Was, um, oh, that's the other thing. The Bound ones are one size fits all. So you can't even get a smaller size. They're just like, they're so stretchy. And I know that sounds like, insane um but they actually did fit me like really well like they're tight on me um and they're a one size fit all situation and then all the zaffles i ordered in a small and they actually fit except for this the large green one that we already talked about so yeah you guys i hope you enjoyed this um i'm also going to do a pretty soon an asos petite loungewear haul i ordered some stuff this is from it um coming out in a little bit and if you guys like this video and it helped you as a petite woman understand like sizing better or some brands to look at um, or you just enjoyed hearing me rant on about Tulum and bathing suits for 10 minutes, then please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more content tailored to petite women. And I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye.